On your mark, let's see, Jenna. Mark, get set, go. Matt, go. Max, go. It's going, going well so far. Great day for a crossword tournament. Let's play two. Hello, Greg. So nice to see you again. This is very exciting. And I got to say, I was very pleased to hear everybody that the number of people this year is record breaking. Yeah. To be part of this entire competition. Yeah, yeah, we can clap for that, I suppose. We might not. We're all here together. By, by a round of applause, more interesting to me, how many people is this your first? Time at this. And that includes our constructor, Cameron Austin Collins. Yes. yes. A very nice man and a very cruel crossword constructor. <laughs> when his only remark is sorry. <laughs> um, this is a brilliant crossword puzzle. Um, I mean, you have so much to enjoy about it, um, including the world's hardest clue, blank on tall, the democratically uh, elected whatever, first Democratic elected president of Hungary, a person, if you've heard of Yosef Antal, please clap. <laughs> exactly. There's a reason why it's the same clue in every puzzle. There's a few of those. The, the clue is essentially, name a Hungarian man's name. That's the clue. And as we saw in the first round, it, did, it crosses with some tough stuff. So just looking ahead, that's going to be a tricky spot for some people. There, there's a lot of tricky things. But you're right, that that's the same. And each also health food cook in a not so healthy way, which is uh, 48 across, is the same in all three. Fried tofu. Yes, I, you should have just clued that as the only way to make this edible. <laughs> I will point out that if you read across, the next the next yes. answer is on fried tap. Tofu. Fried tofu on tap. Oh. Sign, oh, yes. sign in a Williamsburg bar. <laughs> so uh, we'll have to, to distract from what's happening. Yes. But uh, Max has pretty much got the whole top diagonal going. Very Jenna, who got that go crucial 10 second head start, um, is kind of struggling with, the, with filling in some of the top. Right, going around to different places and, and doing the approach of like, let's just get in there, anything I can do quickly. Uh, I love, oh, and also I feel like Matt is, oh, now he's cooking. Now he's cooking with fire. Matt knows the actor George Mackay. Right. Um, uh, 29 down. Because he you, watches. He watched 1917. <laughs> Or Dunkirk, or whichever British. Right, one, one of those, yeah. That George Mackay is in. Um, uh, that's got an even harder clue in the A, in the A puzzle, as you'll see. Uh, Queensland City with a Scottish name. I actually think just that where you start on this puzzle with one across, depending on what you're looking at, it gets. It's a great example for those of you who are here for the first time. The, the key to this is the three different levels of clues. That's so right. You can see. And the C clue should be the easiest. It's Cary Grant or Denzel Washington. Right, or sure. An actor to fill that in. And the A clue is extra, for example. Right. Which I think the A solvers will fill right in and get a head start. But the B clue, the B clue is Grant or Washington. Ah. That, to me, is the hardest of those things. That is the hardest. And it didn't slow down Jenna and, uh, and Max. Matt, Matt is stuck on that. I want to also point out over on Max's puzzle, there's a crossing at, uh, where is that? 14 down and 22 across. 22 across is, in the A clues, is tiny drink. And it's blank IP. Um, now they're looking at the B clues, which is pinch blank IP. Mm -hmm. You would think you would get the nip in there. It's crossing a, something you might just not know, which is the old world finch. <laughs> you know? Cam is known for writing puzzles with lots of new and exciting words. That's and right. refreshing his word list, but old word, old word Finch still sneaks in there, doesn't it? Yeah, you can't avoid that. I, I love a tiny little trick. 
little nip. A little nip of something. Yeah. Uh, I also actually thought the, um, I, I saw this was actually the advice to, uh, the tip for writers. Yeah, tips a, for writers, yeah. right? Uh, in the B, it is. Seven down, right? Mm -hmm. Birds, <laughs> bills. Nibs. Oh wait, sorry. I don't even know, but but oh, oh, wait. Max is very close. Oh, He's got he's right there. Yeah, the sit nib man. Question: What is the bird? This is what's known as a, a natick, uh, a crossing where you have two words and there are a number of legitimate letters that could go there and you just This person don't doesn't know take small one. drinks of alcohol. <laughs> yeah. There we go. You put the correct N in there. Yeah. You know the, the question mark at the end of done when Max said that. That's the way it always feels. What is anything truly done? Matt. 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 So it's interesting because Matt has the same, a little couple other things to fill in here and there, but that same uh, situ little situation there as Max ended on well, might be exactly where we find Matt ending on. He's kind of like poor strip, the grossest crossword clue we've had. <laughs> but so satisfying, so satisfying. Yeah. Let me tell like, you. This does not pass the breakfast test. I do not want to read about poor strip. Yeah, you have a mess for a half a I'll tell you. All right, Matt is at the same spot. Oh. He's deciding it's a lazy bird. No, oh. it's a big bird. It's a big bird. Oh. 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 Nice. That's nice. to me. Nice. 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 And now, Gemma is obviously aware the other two have finished. Yep. And, and she can just take her time. That's right. And it's really... She could do some stretches, <laughs> have a snack. <laughs> 13 <laughs> minutes left. <laughs> We're just going to be held hostage. Yeah, I got a couple calls and some emails to make, and I'll be right back at this. She might as well make sure she's 100% right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Says who? Says Gemma. That's what I say. Oh, she's right in the last square of this, and like a champ. There we go. All right, Jenna. Hey, Jenna. Excellent, kids. The judges will look these over now. Yep. See if anybody's made any errors. Yeah, there, will, there will be no handwriting awards given out. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, I will tell you, recently someone turned to me at a bar, Brad is having a nip, and said to me, Oh, are you writing in cursive? <laughs> I've never felt so old in my entire life. I said, Yes. And then they said, Do you find it faster? I was like, I believe that is the point. That was the point. Um, I, you know, there are the top solvers will say if you write a lowercase e, it's faster because it's, it's one stress right. rather than the three it takes for the other. I mean, you, you age. Do that's you why these three more in the e lines <laughs> because they write the e with three strokes. Just watch. Also, just like to point out a personal detail. Right now, uh, Greg's son and my son are off playing together because they are the same age. Isn't that adorable? It is adorable. When they're going, they're going. I think they're still in the hotel, right? I think. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, all right, everybody. Which hotel? <laughs> they're all correct. <laughs> so finishing first, perfectly in five minutes and forty seconds, is Max Kurtzman. All right. Yeah. Second place, perfect in 6.42, is Matt Sandler. And in third place, correct in 7 minutes and 26 seconds, is Jenna Hofleur. So yeah.
The B Division champion is Max Kurtzman.